They're like, no. And we're going to, and now you're on the ground. We're going to taser you three times and you watch them getting off on it. This is fascism. This is tyranny. And just, just to watch the sickness of these people. Uh, so if this is the solution to Obama, it's more of the same, Webster Tarpley. I, I think uh, it's very interesting. The, the, the line in the Tea Party between the authentic and honest people and the ones that are uh, of no, no use uh, for anything is the honest ones will all say, I'm against the Republican Party, I'm against the Democratic Party. I reject both. This is the beginning of wisdom. But I, what I found on Capitol Hill ten days ago in this in this uh, demonstration right before the uh, the health bill was rammed through was that you, most of them would say, "Well, I'm I'm for the Republicans. I'm much closer to the Republicans. I'm not interested in third parties and uh, and so forth." So I think that's what it is. On the left side, though, the the people uh, out there uh, who really gave Obama his victory in the primaries, uh, they're very very uh, angry because of the escalation in Afghanistan. You've got this uh, this health bill, which... But Webster, let's everything. go back. I mean, uh, let's go back, though, here. What about the brown shirt image of a public rally? The guy gets up and what they would call heckles, and so they basically beat him up, and then he still gets arrested. This is the essence of 1938 brown shirts. Yeah, it's outrageous, obviously, and there's, there's, there's no, no place for this. What is missing is an organized force, that is a, a, a third party or something leading to a third party, that would have an economic recovery program, as well as these points about no to the war, defend civil liberties, defend obvious democratic rights, stop this Wall Street domination, and, and seize and nationalize the Federal Reserve and rip that out of the hands of Wall Street. What I'm trying to point to is right now, the public disgust with both parties is extremely strong. And I would say there are people in the ruling elite who say, well, anybody who's prominent, like yourself, could become a pole of rallying of, a, of, a, of an opposition force that would include conservatives as well as left liberals and people like this uh, for the kind of stuff that I, that I think I was, I was trying to, to point out. So I think that's why they're so hysterical at this point, because Obama has lost his left wing and the Republicans have lost their... You know, Let's talk about where the country's going economically. You know what's frustrating? I have never sold out to the New World Order. And I did it because I wanted to be honest. I wanted to stand up against their evil. I understood that historically, if my children and their progeny are going to have any future, I have to do this. But you don't just get shut out of the media and demonized and you know, not be as successful reaching people if you don't play ball. Then sometimes they come and put you in prison and kill you. But then that just illustrates even more why we have to beat these people. And the good news is they're in trouble on every front. And a lot of people in the system who are in denial about the level of authoritarian system we're going into, it, it's a big wake-up call. And it's just time for people to stop going along with this and for people in government to start saying no. I, I mean, school kids being watched at home off school-issued laptops, torture, secret arrest, uh, legislation to secretly arrest U.S. citizens and torture them. I mean, you can't make this stuff up. And it's like a bad dream. I, I, I can't believe people aren't waking up even faster. But the good news is... There is an awakening taking place. The question is, will it be hard enough, fast enough? Webster Tarpley, where do you see the economy going? There's no doubt it's now a double-dip recession, a new new stupid term. We're really in a depression. Uh, the globalists are in trouble on every front, but they don't seem to care, Webster. Oh, I think they care very much. Uh, we've had Iceland voting 92% to say no to the bankers of London and Amsterdam, we have the Greek labor movement staging two general strikes. We had a general strike in Italy, too, on top of that. Uh, and we've got the 100 campuses in the United States blowing up over this issue of uh, drastic increases in the uh, in the tuition at state colleges from California to, to New York City. And the system knows it's only going to get worse. So what's their plan to try to block this? I mean, I mean when I say they don't care, they do care, but they're committed to their program, and they know they're pushing people to the boiling point. 
budget cuts that kill people. Uh, what you say, the, the repressive side of the, of the current regime, clear, it's clear. But that goes together with what they're taking away from you. They're taking away your economic rights. They want to deprive you of whatever pension, health care, job, unemployment benefits, and so forth that you have. The tremendous pressure right now is uh, we have the states across the U.S. and the larger municipalities have a combined deficit of $400 billion. So what you see is Christie in New Jersey, McDonald in Virginia, uh, Schwarzenegger, the Democrat governor in, uh, in Illinois, Ryan, austerity, cuts, fire state workers, reduce the, uh, the, the salaries of state workers if you can, uh, gouge, chisel, uh, and ultimately that will, that will kill people. That actually leads to, uh, to greater um, losses of human life than, than uh, you know, uh, the, the kind of police state violence. Where's Obama in a year? Well, Obama next year, see, at the end of this, we've reached the end of the, uh, the stimulus phase. Now, we're supposed to have now the, re we're going to go back to deficit reduction. So Obama is transitioning into his role. He thinks that he can be the austerity dictator. And, of course, that's very hard because of the way his, his base is set up. But in 2011, Obama is going to come on the scene, probably with the, with a Republican Congress in at least one house. And he's going to say, I will get the budget back in balance. I will make the cuts. And the way that he does it is by union busting. Remember when Reagan busted the air traffic controllers? Obama is busting the teachers union right now. All right, uh, Webster, just... we're, out of, we're out of time. We'll have to have you back very soon. You've got four books. We sell them all at InfoWars.com. Two books on Obama and a lot more. We really appreciate you spending time with us. See you soon, Alex. You bet. Man, these are times that try men's souls. Please pray for us. Keep spreading the word about the show, the free iPhone app. And we got two new films coming out next month. Pre-order them both at InfoWars.com. Great job, crew.